I have to say, I, I, I've been doing this festival since it started, and I'm really excited about this festival this weekend for a multitude of reasons, but I think our, our guest artist list of Stanley Drucker, Paquito de Rivera, and Alcides Rodriguez is unmatched anywhere you would be in the world. Three of the great virtuosi of our time, uh, I think you'll, you'll be enlightened by what you're going to see and hear from them over the next uh, day and a half. So I'm absolutely delighted about that. Also, the talent of all the groups that have come to perform is uh, probably unmatched uh, in any other year that we've done this before. Uh, of course, we have great vendors here this year, you know, with, with many clarinets for you to try if you want to try any buffet clarinets. Tons of mouthpieces and reeds. Of course, Janae is here with a, with a plethora of sheet music for you to look through and, and find some new pieces for your repertoire. And of course, uh, uh, Pam and Phil Muncy are here. Those of you from Greensboro will probably get over there to see them over in Boone, but the Muncy's have a tremendous selection of accessories and mouthpieces, reeds, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm delighted th that they're here. Um, also wanted to say, even though I already recognized uh, them, that uh, it's been a pleasure for me to collaborate with both Kelly Burke and Anthony Taylor, and, and just thank you so much for all the assistance you gave to make this all possible. Uh, more, that's a personal, from a personal standpoint. I hope everybody registered, and um, uh, that we have some goodie bags. If you haven't gotten them, just go to the registration desk. There's a couple little you know, things for you to have uh, to remember this weekend. Um, also, we have schedules for both days. They're in different colors. You'll see that today's schedule is on a purple sheet, and tomorrow's schedule is on a, on a yellow sheet so that you can keep track. At least I can keep track of which day we're doing what. Um, also, make sure you get a copy of the festival program if you haven't gotten one. And I hope I spelled everybody's name right. I tried. Um, the other thing is everybody is welcome to, to perform in the mass choir. And even if you're not here for both days, you're welcome to sit in. Um, the idea is to just uh, get as many clarinets as we can on the stage and see what it sounds like when we all get together. And uh, we have with us uh, uh, Dr. David Waybright, who's the president of the American Bandmasters Association, and he's going to be the director for the Mass Choir this year, and I'm delighted that he could be here with us. So um, also, keep in mind, please, that banddirector.com is here, and they are broadcasting this event live, streaming on the internet, so please make sure that during the concerts and everything that you turn your cell phones and your PDAs off so we don't have any extraneous noises uh, uh, going out uh, on the stream of the internet. Um, so uh, the, the, the rehearsal today for the Mass Choir is at 4 o'clock and it'll take place in room 111, so please bring what you have, your alto clarinets and your basset horns and anything else that you've brought with you. We'd love to have you play in that group. One of the things that I like to do also at this festival before we start is to speak very briefly about the history of the clarinet choir. Um, because I think that that was kind of the genesis when Van Dorn approached me in 2004 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the company, which was founded in 1905. They were planning events internationally. And they asked me to plan an event, and I wanted to do something that was a little bit different from what had been done before. And uh, rather than just do a recital or rather than just do a master class series, we did an event that was totally centered on clarinet ensembles, anywhere from duos all the way up to huge choirs. And at this festival, we're going to have anything from duos all the way up to 35 and 40 piece clarinet choirs performing. And I don't think there's any other festival in the world that does this every year. So that was my idea, and, and I've always been inspired by the, by the sound of the clarinet choir. So a little bit about the history of the clarinet choir. The father of the clarinet choir was Gustave Poncelet, and he lived from 1844 to 1903. In the late 19th century, he formed the first true clarinet choir at the Brussels Conservatoire. We're here today more than a century later to celebrate his musical legacy. From hearing Poncelet's ensemble in 1896, the great German composer, Richard Strauss, became acquainted and enamored with all of the members of the clarinet family. As a result, Strauss used large and diverse clarinet sections in many of his grand scale orchestral works and operas, and soon other composers follow suit. I don't know if any of you have heard or have ever played the opera Electra. It has eight clarinet parts. So thank Poncelet, he keeps a lot of clarinet players employed because of Poncelet with all these pieces that have a lot of clarinet parts to them. Mahler was another one who used tremendous uh, clarinet sections in his works. Several of Poncelet's students came to the United States at the turn of the 20th century and began forming clarinet choirs. The most famous American clarinet choir was the Bellison Clarinet Ensemble, 
which was founded in 1927 by Simeon Bellison, the celebrated principal clarinetist of the New York Philharmonic. Bellison's choir was 75 players strong and often performed in Carnegie Hall. In addition to a huge complement of each member of the clarinet family, his instrumentation often included trumpet, harp, concertino, piano, guitar, organ, and percussion. The ensemble played its last concert in 1938. In or around 1950, a movement started in the United States that began what we call the golden age of the clarinet choir. It was appropriately called the balanced clarinet choir movement because the founders proposed and implemented the use of an acoustically balanced instrumentation covering the entire range of the clarinet family. A number of prominent clarinet performers and educators, including Thomas Ayers, Lucien Callier, James DeJesu, Harvey Herman, David Haidt, Russell Halland, Donald McCatherine, Harold Palmer, and Alfred Reed initiated and promoted this new concept. Many other music educators who were trying to improve their ever-expanding clarinet sections further stimulated the movement. During this era, most major university and high school music programs boasted large clarinet choirs. Some notable examples were the choirs at the University of Illinois, Iowa State University, Fresno State College, Montana State University, Duquesne University, and Lebanon Valley College. All of the leading instrument manufacturers of the time strongly supported the clarinet choir movement. State, regional, and national music conferences featured clarinet choirs and often included the formation of conference mass choirs, which gave us the inspiration to do a conference mass choir at this festival. Due to a number of factors, including dwindling music school enrollments, lack of adequate budgets to purchase and maintain instruments, and an ever-increasing amount of out-of-print repertoire, the clarinet choir became relatively silent in and around 1970. I'm committed strongly to a revival of the American Clarinet Choir, and fortunately so are many other notable clarinet performers and educators, many of whom are here at this festival. So I think this festival is a shining example of the resurgence of the clarinet ensemble, and thanks to the generous support of Buffet and Van Doren, we can all be a part of writing a new chapter in the history of the Clarinet Choir. So welcome, have a wonderful couple days, enough talking, let's get to the music and welcome the, uh, the wonderful ensembles from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Have a wonderful uh, two days and let us know how we can help you and I hope you learn a lot and go home with a lot of great memories from our festival. Thank you very much.